Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss genetics of thumb's distal hyperextensibility. So this is my thumb. Some people can bend that thumb like this, but some can't. I can't bend this thumb. So the people that can bend this thumb has hitchhiker thumb. This thumb is called hitchhiker thumb. And the people that can't bend that thumb they has no hitchhiker thumb. So I have no hitchhiker thumb. So why people, some people can bend that thumb and some can't? It is because of this distal joint. The people that can bend that thumb has extensible or extendable, if you can say that joint. So why it is so? There is genetics behind that. Single G. controls the movement of that joint movement of that joint thumbs distal joint and that gene is called bendy thumb gene and this gene has two le capital h and small h. This capital H is dominant allele. And this small h is recessive allele. This capital H causes no hitchhiker thumb. Means if any person has this allele, he or she can't bend his thumb. But this allele, this recessive allele, it causes hitchhiker's thumb. And this is recessive. So here, in that case, there are three possibilities. A person can be capital H, capital H, can be capital H, small h and can be small h, small h. So there are three possibilities. Homozygous dominant, heterozygous dominant. So the person that has capital H, capital H and capital small h will be with no hitchhikers. But when any person has both recessive allele, small h, small h, he or she will have hitchhiker thumbs. So let's look at the case now. In my case, I has no hitchhiker thumb. That means I might be capital H, capital H or capital H, small h. So either I am capital H, capital H, that is homozygous dominant or I am capital H, small h. And when you can say, suppose my wife has small h, small h, that means C has hitchhiker's thumb. In that case, you will find this will be the situation. Our all children will be with no hitchhiker thumb. But when I am heterozygous, then you will see half with B will be with hitchhiker's thumb and half will be with no hitchhiker's thumb. So this is genetics of hitchhiker thumb or you can say thumbs distal hyper extensibility. Some you know some people can bend this thumb some can't. So why it occurs it is because of single gene that is called bendy thumb gene. This bendy thumb gene has two form or you can say two allele capital H small h capital H is dominant it is recessive. When any person has capital H, capital H, its genetics is capital H, capital H or capital H, small h, then he or she will be with no hitchhiker's thumb. When any person has small h, small h, then there will be hitchhiker's thumb. So this is genetics of hitchhikers and no hitchhiker thumb.